Is time travel possible? Short answer, yes, and you're doing it right now, hurtling into the future at the impressive rate of one second per second. You're pretty much always moving through time at the same speed, whether you're watching paint dry or wishing you had more hours to visit with a friend from out of town. But this isn't the kind of time travel that's captivated countless science fiction writers, or spurred a genre so extensive that Wikipedia, opens a new tab, lists over 400 titles in the category, movies about time travel. In franchises like Doctor Who, Star Trek, and Back to the Future, characters climb into some wild vehicle to blast into the past or spin into the future. Once the characters have traveled through time, they grapple with what happens if you change the past or present based on information from the future, which is where time travel stories intersect with the idea of parallel universes or alternate timelines. Although many people are fascinated by the idea of changing the past or seeing the future before it's due, no person has ever demonstrated the kind of back and forth time travel seen in science fiction or proposed a method of sending a person through significant periods of time that wouldn't destroy them on the way. And, as physicist Stephen Hawking pointed out in his book, Black Holes and Baby Universes, opens a new tab, Bantam, 1994, the best evidence we have that time travel is not possible, and never will be, is that we have not been invaded by hordes of tourists from the future. Science does support some amount of time bending, though. For example, physicist Albert Einstein's theory of special relativity proposes that time is an illusion that moves relative to an observer. An observer traveling near the speed of light will experience time, with all its aftereffects, boredom, aging, etc., much more slowly than an observer at rest. That's why astronaut Scott Kelly aged ever so slightly less over the course of a year in orbit than his twin brother who stayed here on Earth. Related, controversially, physicist argues that time is real. There are other scientific theories about time travel, including some weird physics that arise around wormholes, black holes, and string theory. For the most part, though, time travel remains the domain of an ever-growing array of science fiction books, movies, television shows, comics, video games, and more. Although many people are fascinated by the idea of changing the past or seeing the future before it's due, no person has ever demonstrated the kind of back-and-forth time travel seen in science fiction or proposed a method of sending a person through significant periods of time that wouldn't destroy them on the way. And. As physicist Stephen Hawking pointed out in his book, Black Holes and Baby Universes, opens a new tab, Bantam, 1994, the best evidence we have that time travel is not possible, and never will be, is that we have not been invaded by hordes of tourists from the future. Science does support some amount of time bending, though. For example, physicist Albert Einstein's theory of special relativity proposes that time is an illusion that moves relative to an observer. An observer traveling near the speed of light will experience time, with all its aftereffects, boredom, aging, etc., much more slowly than an observer at rest. That's why astronaut Scott Kelly aged ever so slightly less over the course of a year in orbit than his twin brother who stayed here on Earth. Related, controversially, physicist argues that time is real. There are other scientific theories about time travel, including some weird physics that arise around wormholes, black holes, and string theory. For the most part, though, time travel remains the domain of an ever-growing array of science fiction books, movies, television shows, comics, video games, and more. Although many people are fascinated by the idea of changing the past or seeing the future before it's due, no person has ever demonstrated the kind of back-and-forth time travel seen in science fiction or proposed a method of sending a person through significant periods of time that wouldn't destroy them on the way. And. As physicist Stephen Hawking pointed out in his book, Black Holes and Baby Universes, opens a new tab, Bantam, 1994, the best evidence we have that time travel is not possible, and never will be, is that we have not been invaded by hordes of tourists from the future. Science does support some amount of time bending, though. For example, physicist Albert Einstein's theory of special relativity proposes that time is an illusion that moves relative to an observer. An observer traveling near the speed of light will experience time, with all its aftereffects, boredom, aging, etc., much more slowly than an observer at rest. That's why astronaut Scott Kelly aged ever so slightly less over the course of a year in orbit than his twin brother who stayed here on Earth. Related, controversially, physicist argues that time is real. There are other scientific theories about time travel, including some weird physics that arise around wormholes, black holes, and string theory. For the most part, though, time travel remains the domain of an ever-growing array of science fiction books, movies, television shows, comics, video games, and more. 
the difference that low Earth orbit makes in an astronaut's lifespan may be negligible, better suited for jokes among siblings than actual life extension or visiting the distant future, but the dilation in time between people on Earth and GPS satellites flying through space does make a difference. The Global Positioning System, or GPS, helps us know exactly where we are by communicating with a network of a few dozen satellites positioned in a high Earth orbit. The satellites circle the planet from 12,500 miles, 20,100 kilometers, away, moving at 8,700 miles per hour, 14,000 kilometers per hour. According to special relativity, the faster an object moves relative to another object, the slower that first object experiences time. For GPS satellites with atomic clocks, this effect cuts 7 microseconds, or 7 millionths of a second, off each day, according to the American Physical Society publication Physics Central. Then, according to general relativity, clocks closer to the center of a large gravitational mass like Earth tick more slowly than those farther away. So, because the GPS satellites are much farther from the center of Earth compared to clocks on the surface, Physics Central added, that adds another 45 microseconds onto the GPS satellite clocks each day. Combined with the negative 7 microseconds from the special relativity calculation, the net result is an added 38 microseconds. This means that in order to maintain the accuracy needed to pinpoint your car or phone, or, since the system is run by the U.S. Department of Defense, a military drone, engineers must account for an extra 38 microseconds in each satellite's day. The atomic clocks on board don't tick over to the next day until they have run 38 microseconds longer than comparable clocks on Earth. Given those numbers, it would take more than seven years for the atomic clock in a GPS satellite to unsync itself from an Earth clock by more than a blink of an eye. We did the math, if you estimate a blink to last at least 100,000 microseconds, as the Harvard database of useful biological numbers does, it would take thousands of days for those 38 microsecond shifts to add up. This kind of time travel may seem as negligible as the Kelly brothers' age gap, but given the hyper-accuracy of modern GPS technology, it actually does matter. If it can communicate with the satellites whizzing overhead, your phone can nail down your location in space and time with incredible accuracy. General relativity might also provide scenarios that could allow travelers to go back in time, according to NASA, opens a new tab. But the physical reality of those time travel methods is no piece of cake. Wormholes are theoretical tunnels through the fabric of space-time that could connect different moments or locations in reality to others. Also known as Einstein-Rosen bridges or white holes, as opposed to black holes, speculation about wormholes abounds. But despite taking up a lot of space, or space-time, in science fiction, no wormholes of any kind have been identified in real life. The whole thing is very hypothetical at this point, Stephen Su, a professor of theoretical physics at the University of Oregon, told Space.com sister site Live Science, opens a new tab. No one thinks we're going to find a wormhole anytime soon, 